What's going on, guys? Welcome on into the video. We are diving into trading view. We're talking watch list here on the platform. Uh, should be a pretty simple and short to the point video tutorial going over how to utilize this and some of the nuances, some things to know that could be useful in your own trading investing and how you utilize this platform. So for those who don't know and not familiar, TradingView is a platform that has a lot of information. It has a lot of charts, allows you to do charting, watch list, get market news, screen for stocks. Um, it, it takes a lot of the perks and a lot of the things that let's say a Webull or other platforms these days have, packs it in, packages it up, puts it online for you and allows you to access this pretty much wherever you want. So really quick, this is like the, the main homepage. There will be a link in the video description and pinned comment, I believe, to sign up if you haven't done so already. It's another place to organize yourself, chart stocks, keep lists, scan, and all that good stuff. Um, so there is different plans. I currently am looking at the premium plan. There are different plans. You don't have to pay for them. You can sign up for a free account and utilize a lot of the features we're gonna talk about. But if you do go ahead with premium plans, then you get more features and you can utilize different things. But we're gonna be talking about how to use the watch list feature and you can sign up for a free 30 day trial. It's what they do. So test it out if you want to, you know, it's up to you at the end of the day, if you wanna pay for it or not. So over on the top right, on my page, like obviously if I click on the top right of my screen, there's a section that says watch list and details. Up here, if I click on that, it's gonna kind of populate or, or, or take that that part of the, um, the sidebar away. And so it can kind of give me a bigger screen. In this case, I pop it open to a bigger screen, great. I go to the chart and I can go and start looking up stocks and you know, just like that, I can start charting out stocks and customizing my chart and all that stuff. So that's what's kind of cool about this. But at the end of the day, we want to use the watch list feature. Let's, let's just talk about how do, how do we do that? How do we use the watch list feature? How do we just start building out a watch list, using that, making it, you know, collecting a bunch of stocks, building our lists. Let's dive into it. So back over to the top right, I go over to this little top, the top feature. It says watch list and details. As you scroll down, we're going to have more videos on the channel and on the trading view playlist. So make sure to check that out. If you're watching this video a couple of days or weeks or months after the fact, after it's been posted, we're going to build this out over time. So we can have more, you know, tutorials, more information going into, you know, explaining how to use this stuff. And it's actually really cool. I like it a lot. So up here, top right, watch list and details. It opens this guy right here. Here's our watch list tab. If I go to watch list right here, I have, I'll have i have my watch list kind of set up. They're gonna have a, a pre-populated one. That's what they give me right now, but I'm gonna open, you know, I'm gonna start a new one fresh so you guys can kind of see and walk you through how this works, okay? So from there, there's the three dots. There's some more information I can copy, rename things, import, export, clear them, add different sections, all that good stuff. But if you don't have anything in the first place, how do you do so? This plus sign right here will get you, okay? So click on the add symbol, type in the plus, and from there I can type in any stock I want. So AAPL, let's say I wanna do Apple, uh, and add that to a watch list, I can grab that Apple right here. Click on the plus sign, add it to the watch list. Now, that's gonna add it to this watch list that it's already populated for me, which might not be useful. In this case, it's already separated things, it actually populated Apple down here where it said futures. All I gotta do is click on Apple, drag it up to the section that I want to put it in. So in this case, I wanna put Apple under the stock section. Great, I go ahead and do that. Okay, cool, but maybe that's not what I wanna do. Maybe I wanna create a separate list, brand new, and start from scratch. That's where I'm gonna go to the click on the watch list right here, okay? Go to create new list. When I click on create new list, let's name this list. Let's just make this list like large cap stocks, okay? Uh, I'm gonna name it large caps and click on save. Now I have a new list on the right hand side. We can now see that, hey, I got a new list and there's nothing in it. So if I click on large caps at the top, now I can go back and forth between my watch list. They've already pre-populated and I can go back to my large caps. In this case, I'm on the large caps. Now I can add some good stocks here and make a fresh list. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the plus sign. Let's go to Apple. I'm gonna click on the plus sign Apple because I'm already in my large cap watch list right now. So all I'm gonna do when I click on the plus, it's gonna add Apple to this list. Boom, just like that. There it is, populated right in, okay? Click on the plus sign again. And let's say I wanna add in Tesla on that. I wanna add in Nvidia. I wanna add Amazon. I can go ahead and add all these stocks in if I would like to. I can also go ahead and search for stocks. So in this case, it can go to all. You can pull up different things like Bitcoin. You can follow cryptos. You can follow Forex indexes, all that good stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, and you can create tons of watch lists for that. For example, you might wanna look at the bond yields and say, hey, the 10 year bond yield, I wanna follow that. But 
create a separate watch list for that uh, and come back and check, okay, how are the bond yields doing today? How are the indexes doing today? How is crypto doing? And get a good feel for different sectors, different you know markets, different things, um, which could you know, be very beneficial for you. And it can really organize you a lot. And it's actually really useful. And honestly, it's something that I haven't started really using too, too much until recently. And I'm like, you know, this is actually a pretty cool platform. I like it a lot. And you know, if you're looking at a platform that you want to do your research, do your charting at night, uh, and you, you know, you don't want to be on your, let's say your brokerage platform, or you have a broker, let's say a Robinhood, and there's not many features like this. It's actually a really good, you know, perk to have. So that's that. Now we're inside of our watches up here and we have all this good stuff set up. Let's just say I wanted to create a section. I go into the three dots in the top right. I go to add a section and now I have, it says section one. I double click on that and I can change that to like, I don't know, like whatever test. And then I can essentially separate stocks, you know, by this test section. And I can kind of move around my watch list and say, okay, well maybe inside of my, my large cap watch list, I want to create sections that are like, you know, tech stocks versus value stocks or dividend stocks or stocks that have, you know, I can separate that however I see fit. And that could be a good way to do so as well. Also right here, if I click on this little advanced view, What's really cool about this is that inside of my watch list, I can now add a description so I can kind of explain what this watch list is for. So let's say I had a watch list and it was like small caps and I like forgot about that. Like, you know, I made this watch list because I was doing some research one night and like three months later, I want to come back to it, but I completely forgot what I was doing in the description section. I can go and type and explain like, Hey, I was, I was, you know, looking up stocks that had this percentage of, you know, shorts. I had this percentage of volume. I had, you know, all these different indicators, all these different values that I was looking at. That's where I came up with this list. And so I can kind of remember that and it's cool and it could be nice. They also give you kind of a, a distribution of where these stocks are, the different industries and the different sectors kind of inside of that. Um, so if you don't want to go ahead and, and separate that yourself, boom. And as you scroll down, you're going to see the upcoming earnings. So a lot of these stocks already had earnings, but you're going to see if you scroll down inside of this advanced view, boom, guess what? In the next 14 days, NVIDIA's got earnings and that's the 25th of May, so that's coming up. And that's great because now I can be prepared for, okay, if this stock, if I'm holding this stock or I wanna trade this stock, I now have the date just like that and I click on this and I get the, oh, they give you a quick little estimate um, as to that. So boom, just like that. On top of this, I can click on share. Um, so anyone can view this, update it and copy it themselves. That could be useful if you're up, if you want that, maybe you don't want that. So maybe it's just your personal private list and you don't want to share that, but that's up to you at the end of the day, if you wanted to share it and you can go ahead and copy the link, send it out and, you know, give it to people or whatever, post on social media, um, which could be cool. So that's that. Uh, outside of that though, again, inside of here, you have the options to import the watch list, export your watch list. If I click on export, it's going to download a text file. I open the text file and here's what I'm going to get. So I'm going to get a file that looks like this. And if I wanted to import, I would essentially import a text file and I'd be able to import my own watch list just like that. So that's the format that they give me uh, in terms of exporting my watch list. Maybe I want to import to a program, run something, do whatever I want with that. That's up to me. Um, I can also add a couple other things inside of the column. So in this case, I can add things like extended hours. I can add the volume, a couple of different things uh, inside of my watch list column. So it'll, it'll show that on the right hand side. See how it says symbol, last price, the change and the percentage change. Well, if I were to add some more columns there, for example, go back in here, I want to add the volume. I go back now to this and now it shows you that it has a volume column right here. And if I double click on, or if I click on one of these, um, these columns, it'll sort them by the stocks uh, that are, let's say highest to lowest, lowest to highest, uh, et cetera, that, uh, that follow along in this watch list. Okay. If I get rid of the test, get rid of this test guy right here. Again, go to buy percent change. Uh, boom. Now you see that the top percent changers. We have Amazon, Tesla, both green, uh, Nvidia, AMD, and then Apple are red. And I can do that and, and sort my watch list that way, which could be very, very useful for you depending upon what you want to do. So that's watch list in a nutshell. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Any questions, leave them down below. We're going to have a lot more videos when it comes to trading view. So get ready for more videos covering the charts, how this stuff works, how to chart stocks, how to use indicators, setting indicators up all that good stuff. So make sure you stay in tune. That playlist will be a great resource for you. Share it with a friend if you guys want to. Again, the link will be down below to sign up for a free trial or just sign up in general, whatever you want to do. You can use a free account. You do not have to pay for it. And I don't want people to pay for things that they can't afford or that they don't really see value in. So of course, try it out. And the great thing about a 30 day free trial is that like you get a true month Whereas like some of these seven day free trials is like, okay, cool. But like seven days, you know, I don't have enough time. Maybe I'm busy. Like, and you don't have enough time to really kind of dive into things. 30 days, you get a good feel for things. And if you see value here, then maybe it's worth a shot. Maybe you want to pay for the, the platform. It's up to you at the end of the day. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe, the thumbs up button, any links, resources down below. Peace out.